Hi, welcome to the section of the Physics Tutor, and in this section we're going to cover the topic of sound intensity and sound level. And so you might say, well, why do we need to cover that? Didn't we already cover the uh, equation of a sound wave, and we talked about the amplitude of the wave and all of that, and doesn't that sort of imply uh, the uh, amplitude or the, or the intensity, so to speak, of a sound wave? The answer is yes. The, the information uh, as far as the amplitude of a wave and how much energy that wave is carrying is conveyed in the amplitude of the wave, but let me ask you this. Um, if, if I'm sending a wave from me to you, if it's a sound wave, in general that sound wave is not going just from me to you. That sound wave is in general, if I have a speaker here or something or my vocal cords, that sound is spreading out in all directions because the disturbance that I, my vocal cords make with the air is vibrating the air molecules and those those uh, the chain reaction of collisions actually occurs in all three dimensions so if you were to imagine a, a speaker here the ripple effect of the sound is spreading out as it goes far beyond you so even though yes the amplitude of a wave a sound wave does tell you in general how intense that wave is there's a little more to it that's worth exploring when we're talking about sound waves because in general if you have a speaker source that's putting out energy or, or, or power into the air, that power is spreading out. And so if I'm located a certain distance away from that source, I need to take that into account because the intensity of the sound that I hear X distance away from the source is going to, you know, depend upon how that sound is spreading out. So we're, we're really going to focus on that. I need you to keep that in the back of your mind during this lecture or in the forefront of your mind during this lecture is that sound waves when they go out there they're spreading out in spheres because we're going to see a lot uh, having to do with spheres you know in this section because the sound waves are spreading out like that now comparatively speaking to laser light or something like that that's very directional this is is going to be useful but not as useful we're going to really focus on sound waves as our analogy for this section here so intensity and sound level let's go ahead and first talk about the word intensity or the definition in this case of intensity intensity right now everyone has an idea of what intensity means in general the more intense something is you know the louder it is the uh, more vigorous it is the more you know in your face the more oomph it has or whatever but in physics we have a specific definition we say the intensity i of a sound wave is the energy Uh, per unit area transmitted by the wave. By the wave. Now don't let this language confuse you or scare you or whatever. The energy per unit area, what does that mean? Well, let's draw a picture to, to figure out what this means. If I have, let's say I have a little speaker here little loudspeaker and this guy you know he's making a disturbance in the air and so those waves are really going to be spherical wave fronts that expand out and go in all directions really I mean if it's a directional speaker the sound is really going to go this way um, but if you had just a point source the the sound is really going to go in all different directions but for the sake of argument here let's just say that the uh, you know the waves kind of expand out like this and and they kind of go out this way and if it were a perfect point source then they would be going out in all directions but they're spheres you see because we live in a three-dimensional world now if I were to look over here and stand over here a certain distance away obviously you know that the intensity of the